Hello, in this session we are covering how to add the education field in your LinkedIn profile. So suppose I am a student from uh, Bachelors of Commerce and would like to add a special skill according to the education I already had. So now first and foremost thing we need to visit here that is add profile section. Once you are visiting there, there is another tab which is add education in the core section. Now the hack over here is you need to check uh, whether your university is really visible on the LinkedIn or not. Most of the students or the clients make the mistake that they are uh, uh, writing any random thing uh, like just I am trying to do. So what's happened here is like there is a different logo which doesn't seem that much prominent uh, when anyone looks into your profile. So what we need to do, we need to check whether your college or university is visible over the net or not. So I am from Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Marathwada University and you can see that makes a real a big impact when the logo is visible and please make sure that you are choosing from the drop down list only. So that is the first key. Why university? University has a largest amount of alumni uh, passed out from that university and definitely somewhere in the networking it makes a big impact and it really assures that you are the uh, classmate of theirs and they surely will accept your invitation. So I have added this then uh, once again let me clear this you need to get the information from the drop down list only. So now I am searching for commerce. It is BCom. You need to click on this option only. Don't try to uh, type anything else and just uh, have that as your degree. It will not help you in search engine optimization. So make sure that you are only selecting from the drop down list. So I am selecting this one. Now field of study I would like to add as a prime uh, commerce skill accounting and you can see there is also a drop down list. If you are not taking this drop down list on a prior notice it will make a big negative impact on your profile. So I am going for accounting itself field of study. Now start date and end date is the must thing because as you all know LinkedIn profile could be also used as the resume. So now uh, let's uh, add it like something. So I am using some uh, random data over here. Okay, It was like three years. Now grade you must mention only if you have A or A plus else keep it blank. Okay, I had A plus. Then any social activities conducted by you, organized by you, participated by you will be very much visible over here should be reflecting in your original resume as well. So I was having the NGO volunteering during my college days. So that's it. Now description. Now here you can uh, have a help of chat GPT or any expert. Uh, you can ask me as well to which description will be having more emphasis on uh, the researcher who is looking forward for your profile. So 
my humble request to you if it is bachelor's go for at least three lines if it is masters go for at least 10 to 12 lines or eight lines and if it is a phd level or any higher level education you can go for like 20 lines as well so here i can clearly uh, check the data let me have some data for you So we are now at the chat GPT portal and I have clearly mentioned what I really need from the chat GPT. So I was like very much eager to have only three lines because this is the bachelor level and I also mentioned the accounting, uh, the degree, the university name and the accounting as a specialization and as you can clearly see there is a result. Now just copy it. And we are pasting it here what it really does it creates some keywords from your profile it fetches some keywords they have given us 1000 characters you can use the most of it but uh, as per my experience i will just uh, suggest you not to go farther for the bachelor level in case you are with the masters then you can go uh, with the very descriptive one then let's add the skills so first and foremost for the accounting we must have the accounting skills so account is the first skill uh, then i also do have the tally as my uh, skill tally erp and you can add further more then media is also necessary in case you have any photos like uh, whether you have received any recognition or any organized uh, event was there then you are expected to upload a media. So right now we are taking a random photo and you can see that a dot jpg is already mentioned over here. So we need to remove that because it is taken as it is with the file name. So what we are expected to do here, we are expected to get any specific highlighted name. Accounting award winner. in intercollegiate competition twenty sorry so that was the error okay and now uh, let's type out of 50 colleges from Marathwada, we have won first prize for accounting or something like that, right? More and more keywords you are adding, more it becomes prominent. So you need to add something like 50 colleges were participating and you won out of that means it gives a good success rate and then you need to press the apply button. What happens is like the title comes in the bold and then there is a information. So already the LinkedIn has an algorithm. It will show first two lines or three lines and the media will be visible over there and just to click that you need to press the save button please make sure that you are using the simple technique of adding anything uh, like besides uh, any other thing logo is important let's revise all these things logo is important degree is also important taking that all data from the drop down is most important thing start and end date for any one year two year or three year degree is the must you can't skip that if you have grade a or a plus you can add it here if not please keep it blank like there is no space for distinction or uh, first class or something like that if you have good grades like 80 percent 90 percent you can write it over there 
then any activities special activities if you don't have any please keep it blank and description what we have already discussed and then accounting tally rp and then we have media as well so just need to press the save button as i'm not uh, i'm just demonstrating it so i'm not going to save it because uh, my linkedin is live right now and thanks for watching in case you have any doubts please keep it in the comment section in the assignment and i will surely try to answer your question in case you have more deeper issues i will take your screen uh, on the uh, any desk or any other portal and i will check throughout it so thank you so much for watching let's see you in next assignment as well